Hi friends, Aaron here, talking about Saturday, the 23rd of February, 2019. Big Saturday, big social, emotional Saturday going on, all right? What is going on on this day? A lot, a lot. Starting at the top of the morning here, we have a grand cross, a cardinal cross, okay? Cardinal cross, so we have four aspects happening in, in the cardinal signs of Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn, okay? So the moon top of the morning is going to oppose Uranus. It's going to square the south node and the north node, as well as Uranus is squaring the north and the south node. This has been happening, that aspect's been happening for months, and now with the moon in Libra, for the very last time in 84 years, 84 years, the last time this is gonna happen in 84 years, Okay, so this grand cross, this grand square, cardinal cross, Aries is about self. It's about, it's about me, my physicality, me living here on earth and my need to survive, my own independence. Who is an Aaron Eschenberg? Who is a, who are you? You know, who are you? So this is understanding myself, who I am. This is understanding down here in Cancer. This is about my home life my family life, my emotions, all right? My intuition is pulling me and guiding me where I need to go to survive. And as I go and travel the world to survive, I meet other people and this balance of other people, the moon in Libra, okay? Who are you? What is your journey? How do you survive? What can I learn from you? How can we survive together? How can we grow and expand together? How can we work together, okay? That is Capricorn. So this is the south node in Capricorn. And there's a bunch of other stuff going on up there too. Uh, Pluto is up there. Saturn is up there. Venus is up there. And that's the last connecting piece here is Venus is sextiling Mercury. We'll get to that in a second. So this cardinal cross though, you know, this is like where the soul meets the physical body. This is where we kind of come to a bigger understanding of how I balance my personal life with my relationships with others, with my home life, to my work life. And realizing how all of this fits in, how to move around this, when to, you know, when to be emotional and when to kind of cut it off and to not bury it, but, you know, Close the curtain, be more, you know, kind of professional. Is it unprofessional to cry? I don't know. I guess it depends on your business or, or however. But it's like we're, we're, we're representing ourselves in the public right now. We have to keep it together. We have to know how to move and how to work with other people in order to survive. If we come across as weak, survival fail, you know. Um, not saying emotions are weak. But it's the balance. That is the balance of all of this. Understanding me versus you. Not versus. I don't want to say versus. The relationship of me. The relationship of you and I. The relationship of my emotions. The relationship of lack of emotions. The relationship of my home life and family life. The relationship of my work life. So all of this comes into play, right? And again, this is like the last time this happens as on the 6th. <laughs> I, I always forget I'm backward from you. So Aries is here. Yeah, Uranus is here on the 6th. Aries, uh, Uranus moves out of Aries into Taurus, okay? For seven more years. Seven years is going to be in there. So we're done with this kind of fiery energy, okay? This, this fiery arm motion like this energy of, of like, you know, radical self-awareness and, and like breaking through to figuring out who we are in this world. So this is a very unique aspect as this is happening, as the nodes moving into Cancer Capricorn, this parallel is, is unique to this year. This hasn't happened at any of the past seven years that Uranus has been in Aries. So this square that's happening has been at the very end, and it's, it's reminding us like, hey, this isn't the get rich quick scheme stuff anymore, okay? This is the doing the hard work is important, but it's building the community, building the, you know, the home, the family, and, and, and bringing the emotions into a work environment or work environment into home, the balance of all of them. Finally, we have the Venus sextile to Mercury. Beautiful. This happens a couple times in the year, but it's happening in really, really cool signs right now as, as Mercury is over there in Pisces. 
and Venus is up there in Capricorn. So Mercury wants to talk about the intangible things. Mercury wants to, you know, we're going to expand our thoughts. We're going to expand our communication. Mercury is all about communication and how we talk to each other. Venus is all about what we love and, and bringing things in, in the sign of Capricorn. It's bringing those things into, you know, material possessions, creation, you know, perfection. And when we have these two meeting up, creating this super harmonious aspect at 22 degrees Pisces, 22 degrees Capricorn, this is like the epitome of bringing things into material, you know, of from thoughts into form, from thoughts into form, thoughts into form. And we have, so we have this like cardinal cross, then we have this aspect of like, you think it, you create it, you speak it, you create it, you will it, you know. This is manifesting, you know, this is, this is like key manifesting. And yes, this is a, it's, we've been talking about the Saturn and Neptune sextile. This is, this is along the same lines, but they're different beasts. You know what I mean? So Saturn is like this king of reality and this heavy hitter of like, if this weighs 200 pounds, let's put 205 on it. Let's see if it's going to break. And Neptune is like, let's expand our dreams and expand our unconsciousness and, and all these things. So as those two have been making this sextile in the signs of Capricorn, Capricorn and Libra, there we go, backward, Capricorn and Libra, you know, it is it is about creating and manifesting dreams. And now this is like, talk about it, think about it, be about it. And now we receive and get this. And this is also has to do with, you know, work stuff, uh, uh, partnerships and relationship stuff. Big time, big time right now. Uh, this is really, really exciting. So, and, and also, you know, right around like noon, the moon's going to move into Scorpio. So we're talking like, this is a super emotional weekend, you know, like all of this stuff happening and like, oh, I, I understand, you know, like things are coming into the light and, and this is the last time we're feeling some of this kinds of energies. And I'm like, okay, you and me and, and work and home and <laughs> really understanding all of this balance of how all of these work together. And then it's like, okay, but we get to deepen it because we get to talk about it with each other because this is a social aspect. Venus and Mercury making a sextile is super, super social. These two are the, you know, the busy little bee planets. They're the fast moving planets. There's a lot of hype, a lot of energy. They're fun. You know, these are like the fun bubbly planets. This is not like Mars and Capricorn and those, or Mars and like, you know, Saturn or heavy duty. You know, these are like light, fun, bubbly. So it's like, go talk, go, you know, talk about this stuff. And since the moon is going to be moving out of Libra into like Scorpio, this is like deep talks, deep talks, connecting with people and manifesting, you know, awesome day to manifest. Think it, talk about it, be about it, you know, uh, getting together with your close friends, talking about this stuff, bringing it up from the bottom, uncovering this stuff from underneath the rug and making it happen just going out there and doing it this not even it's not doing it just being about it just it's literally just a bleh, a day of manifestation bleh, awesome things are going to happen bleh, it's going to be a great saturday Mwah, i love you i wish you enough we'll see you tomorrow <laughs>